So, we all know that when human beings eat a lot of sugar or drink a lot of soda, they are going to have increase in weight. So, what would happen if we feed a lot of sugar or too much soda to our chickens? Will they increase weight because we want them to increase weight so that we can have bigger birds that we can sell and make money. So, in this video, I will try to find whether this can happen. So, we are going to discuss the result that I found out the inclusion level and what are the times when that when you're not supposed to feed because there's sometimes when you feed this it's not going to help the chickens but rather it's going to affect them tremendously so welcome to my channel my name is dominic and i'm going to show you and before you do get to explain all of that please subscribe to this channel like um, like my videos and follow me along and share you can share these videos so that more farmers can learn what I'm teaching you guys here. So let's get started. So, soda contains several elements which usually make the, the, this part of soda. We have the sugar, we have water, and we also have two things that are bad news to us. These are for, so, these are for phosphoric acid and citric acid. These two acids may cause organ damage and may, may cause low production of eggs but not only that it may cause a fatty liver which may affect the general health of our chickens so we all know that now nasal is not good but what is the other alternative for us to use we have water with glucose or sugar so this is exactly what happens when you put water and glucose together this concussion contains now glucose contains calories and Water. Water will be used for hydration. Calories will be a surplus food or supplement food for our chickens. And glucose will be a source of energy for our chickens. So, glucose water is good. So that is why I usually give them to day old chicks. When the first day they come of the farm, we usually give them glucose in water. The other time when you're we, supposed to give this glucose with water is that when your birds are somehow sick, you may see that a bird is not responding well. Maybe somehow it is sick, but you don't know what disease this bird is affected from. So it's supposed to give them glucose water. So it's supposed to give glucose water to a day old bird and to birds which are unwell. But for this bird which is unwell, we should not give glucose for more than three days if you see that the condition is not improving. So you should not give glucose when the bird is not responding to, you know, it's, it's also not responding after giving this glucose water in three days because this is supposed to help the bird, you know, be able to increase the immunity, fight diseases and have an, an overall health. But when this does not happen after three days, you should call a veterinarian so that you can come and check up what is happening to your bird. Also, you should not mix this glucose water or sugar water in birds or in drinking water which have other medications such as vaccine because this is going to affect the you know the effectiveness of the vaccine but also the effectiveness of this glucose water so don't mix this glucose water with other types of medications and do not give this glucose water for more than three days if you see your bird is not responding and also when your bird is seriously ill so call a veterinarian so that you can come and check up what is happening before you know what is the recommended inclusion level of this sugar in water, I would like to announce that I'm starting an online organic course on chicken farming. So in this course, I'll be teaching you herbs that can be used for your chickens. And these videos, I'll not be posting them here on YouTube for free because this information is so good to be posted on YouTube just for free. But I'll continue posting this, you know, this content here and there so that you can see what I usually post on this premium content channel and you can see the you know the description of this video so that you can learn what the entire course contains and one thing you should know is that it will contain at least 10 videos every month so click on the link in the description to go and learn more and subscribe to this course so what inclusion level are we supposed to give to our birds so that it may give this, you know, these recommended benefits. You're supposed to give one tablespoon for every 
one liter of water and this is going to help your bird you know have more energy be hydrated and you know have bigger more strong so that it can recover and able to to develop and have maximum production